Hello, darlings, and welcome to the Mama Rose Show. We're so excited for this week's guest. We have Maya Nero here. She is an artist, she's a singer, she's a jump rope enthusiast, and we're gonna learn all about what she does, who she is, and all the fabulous things that she has going on. How are you, Maya? Sweetheart, how are you? You look fabulous as always with your sequins. Oh, yeah, I'm changing me. <laughs> I tried to go green. I tried to go a little green. I guess you can't see it. It's in my skirt to match you. We're facing some very crazy times. How are you dealing with quarantine? Well, I will show you. I have been wearing a mask that I painted. Um, I've been doing a lot of artwork and socially distancing, which is becoming, you know, a lot more difficult to do. I have to admit, now that we're going into phase, I think phase three, um, I'm finding that, you know, I still wear my mask and I am very aware, very conscious of the social distancing. And I really do believe that this is something regarding, you know, the environment and our culture and learning, learning to be more aware of our surroundings where they're in a, a congested city like New York City, where there are so many people. And I think it's a good thing that we stepped up with um, sanitizer and socially distancing. Maybe this is something that we needed to do a long time ago. And for me, I have found that um, I've had some quality time to spend on the love of, of art for me is my painting. So I have been pursuing a lot more of my creativity in terms of my artwork, which um, I recently was doing a Zoom, a Zoom um, when all of this started. I, last year I was in an art exhibit up at, uh, called Gallery X. And what the main, I had four pieces in the exhibit and the main artist, never showed for the reception. And his work just totally, um, um, ins I, I don't even wanna use the word inspired because it, it was more than inspired, but it, it ignited something inside of me where I have been trying to go in that direction. And what happened is he opened a Zoom and I met him on Zoom and he is now my mentor. And so the last uh, three months, I have been just painting up a storm. My level of um, artistry, or let's say understanding of abstract from my perspective, learning from him and grasping um, his platform on an approach to abstract art has really brought my level of, of painting and understanding the principle of using something called the golden means. And the golden mm -hmm. mean is, has been studied by um, architects and uh, designers, web designers. It's a means of laying out. And from my perspective, I have found that my artwork has more depth and more um, angles. And it's sort of what I've heard from other people. And, and, and one person that actually purchased one of my paintings um, that has followed my career over the years is that um, my level of, of understanding or from his perspective, when he looked at my artwork, he was like, Maya, you're like two different people. This new style, the viewer looks at the work and kind of goes, um, I'm seeing something. I'm seeing something, what is that that I'm seeing? And it brings on a dialogue to that person that is looking at your work and thinking to themselves, I see something in this work. And what it is, is a depth. And it, it kind of like brings you into angles. Um, so I'm trying to create a series is what I'm trying to do. And believe it or not, I'm calling them my series is called Vivid for the Color hyphen skip, because as you know, I jump rope. 
I noticed that you've gotten quite the following on your jump roping lately. Looks like so much fun. How can people take this fabulous routine up? They can follow Maya Skibbs on Instagram. Um, you know, I started jumping rope about three years ago. And to be honest with you, when I was in the cover of life, we'll wait for that little moment there. But because I was rehearsing um, and working full time, rehearsing almost every night for a month, and then the play was a month, I decided to up to, to actually work out more on my jump rope because I was going to be um, missing time in the gym and missing my tap dancing routines, which I did two to three times a week at Broadway Dance Center. So I spent more time um, jumping rope in between the play. So um, if you jump rope, it, what it does is actually burns about a thousand calories. Um, it, I don't know if you can see my arms, but my arms have definition. Um, it works every single muscle in your body. It's really about building your core strength. And I, I really love to do it. I swear, I swear that jumping rope brings you happy endorphins because you're bringing in oxygen to your brain and it actually gives you more energy. Uh, after I've jumped rope, I just feel like, oh, you know, I feel like I'm energized. So um, I really do enjoy jumping rope and I'm trying to learn to do uh, more. Um, I hate to call them tricks. <laughs> um, yeah, well, they're jump rope tricks. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm trying to learn to do more jump rope tricks because uh, there is an entire community of jump ropers. And once you start following other people that jump rope, I mean, it, it's astounding to see them do like leaps in the air, 360 degree turns, double unders. I'm not quite there, but I am working towards it. And I feel like I'm in a community, like a community of artists that are very supportive of you. You were recently off Broadway in the cover of Life at the Gene Frankel Theater. What was this experience like for you? It was pretty amazing. I met some wonderful people. Um, you know, acting, as you know, I performed as a jazz singer. And sending the intention to the back of the room is what you, what you learn in, uh, in acting. And you also send the intention as a singer, the lyrics are what you're trying to convey the message. Mm -hmm. So for me, being on stage was, um, you know, it's kind of weird. I don't know, I'm sure that, you know, many actors or actresses would have you when you're performing. The second before you are on the stage, you're on a nervous wreck. I'm standing behind the wall, my hands are sweating, I'm saying, why am I doing this? Have I lost my mind? I can't do it. I, and then all of a sudden your cue is, and you really do transform that instant, that very instant that you step on stage, you are that character. And for me, um, it was a great opportunity. Um, I totally enjoyed playing Addie Mae. I didn't have the lead, but I almost felt because she as a character was always throughout the entire play, her name was said, she was being referred to. So in my mind as the actress, I had to keep that, that character alive even when I wasn't on the stage because I knew that I was going to be out on the stage again. You are a brilliant singer, jazz singer. What are some of your favorite experiences? One of the craziest things that ever happened to me, I had done a lot, I had done the circuit in New York City, the cabaret circuit. I had sang at a, at a place called Jan Wallman and Jan Wallman passed away maybe five years ago, but she was 
um, the high, one of the highlight cabaret owners in New York City for years. She had people like Barbara Streisand, um, 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 uh, Joan Rivers, and she was going to lose her license downtown, and they did a fundraiser for her, and I was very lucky. The accompanist I was working with at the time uh, landed me three gigs at Jan Wallman's off Fifth Avenue. Having said that, and I packed the room. Um, having said that, I went to visit a friend of mine in California in San Francisco. We're not going to talk numbers, but several years ago. And I did a couple of um, uh, piano bars there. And while I was there, I met um, a journalist. And he actually wasn't invited to this event. He, but he was, you know, he had his pass. He was a journalist for I, I, one of the, the Sun, the San Francisco Sun newspaper. And he asked me to join him, which basically I was trashing. I was crashing a major, the mayor, Willie Brown, the mayor of San Francisco. It was his 80th birthday celebration. Imagine, I didn't know what I was wearing. I threw something together, because you know how we creative people are. So I threw something together. We went to this magnificent place. Uh, Shirley Temple Black was there. It was just magnificent. They had like a 40 piece, this is the truth. They had like a 40 piece orchestra. And I'm, I'm down below dancing, being me. And they went on a break and the orchestra conductor comes over to me and he goes, young lady, I, I was watching you, you're, you're a really good dancer. And I said, if you think I can dance, you should hear me sing. I had no idea. They went back on stage. He calls me to the stage. And, um, you know, being the actress that I am, I said, oh, I'm so overwhelmed to be here this evening. I want to wish Willie Brown the most magnificent, happy 80th birthday. And I sang dancing cheek to cheek with a full orchestra. And then when I came off stage, the mayor came over and I danced with him. So, you know, crazy things happen if you, um, <laughs> And it was a great moment, I have to tell you. Dancing with Willie Brown was just like, I was swept off my feet. That was just crazy. And, um, and I wasn't supposed to be there. Who knew? But the way it worked out, it just, you know, totally was an amazing moment in my life and something I'll always remember. You know, when you go away, you're just more free. You just have this freedom, this sense of this essence of personality and you're more open to receiving what's out there, hopefully good, not bad. And in this case, it, it worked out. Fabulous experiences like that. Where can our viewers find your work? How can our viewers follow you? And what do you have in the works? Currently, I'm in an exhibit online for X Gallery. Um, I do have an exhibit that is going to happen in New Jersey at um, it's the, the name of the gallery is called Exhibit A. Um, he's interested in my new abstracts. Um, I recently applied to a few things because you constantly have to do this new world, this new virtual world that we're living in. It's all online. And I most recently applied for a couple of, uh, of different art um, exhibits that will be online. My website is my decor, M Y D E C O R, my decor art. Dot com. Also on Instagram, if you just look up Maya, that's M-A-I-A, -A, that's a whole other story with my life and my name, four little letters, no one ever gets it right, it's Mia Maria, but it's Maya, so it's M-A-I-A, -A, Maya underscore artist, you will find um, all my latest artwork as well as on my website. In terms of jumping rope, which, you know, again, I absolutely believe that you know, you want to stay young, you want to stay fit, you want to stay healthy, um, you know, diet, but exercise is vital, not just, not just for the physical, but for your mind. It's really vital for your mind, okay? So we're not talking numbers here. I want to thank you so much for joining us here at the Mama Rose Show with our fabulous guest, Maya Nero. Thank you, sweetie.
Take care. Love you. Love you. Buzzer took a monkey for a ride in the air. The buzzer thought that everything was on the square. The buzzer tried to throw the monkey off his back, but the monkey grabbed his neck and said, Now listen, Jack, you better straighten up and fly right. Straighten up and stay right. Straighten up and fly right. Cool down, Papa, don't you blow your top. Ain't no use in diving. What's the use of diving? You better straighten up.